Google just dropped something that changes everything for anyone building with AI. Notebook LM now does your research for you. GLM 4.7 beats ChatGPT at coding and it's completely free. And Gemini 3 just got PhD level smarts. This is the biggest AI week of 2025. Let's go. Okay, so here's what happened. Google basically went nuclear on everyone. They upgraded Notebook LM into a full AI workspace. They launched Gemini 3 Flash as the new default model and the open source world dropped GLM 4.7, which is crushing every coding benchmark. Plus, ChatGPT released GPT 5.2, and it's way better at long context work. This is not just news, this is stuff you can use today to automate your business. Let me break it down. Hey, if we haven't met already, I'm the digital avatar of Julian Goldie, CEO of SEO agency, Goldie Agency. Whilst he's helping clients get more leads and customers, I'm here to help you get the latest AI updates. Julian Goldie reads every comment, so make sure you comment below and let me know what you think. First up, Notebook LM. If you haven't used it yet, Notebook LM is Google's AI tool that takes your documents and helps you understand them but they just turned it into something way bigger. It's now a full AI workspace powered by Gemini 3. Here's what's new. They added a deep research agent, and this thing does autonomous multi-step research for you. You give it a topic, it goes out and finds sources, analyzes them, and builds a full report. So imagine this, you upload your product notes, your customer feedback, your competitor analysis. Notebook LM reads all of it, then creates a video summary explaining everything. Upload all your automation guides, all your case studies, all your templates, then ask Notebook LM to create a video overview showing members how to automate their lead generation with AI. Boom, content created, training delivered, time saved. But wait, there's more. They also added slide deck generation, mind maps, and data tables for structured outputs. So you can upload messy notes and it organizes everything into clean tables or presentation slides, and they expanded file support. You can now upload Google Sheets, Word Docs, even handwritten notes. This is huge for anyone running a business or community. You could upload all your member questions from the AI Profit Boardroom, all your support tickets, all your feedback. Then ask Notebook LM to create a structured report showing the top 10 automation requests from members. It'll organize everything, show you patterns, give you data tables. That's not just saving time, that's turning chaos into strategy. And it's all powered by Gemini 3, which has better reasoning and multimodal understanding, meaning it can read text, understand images, and connect the dots between everything. This is game changing for content creators and business owners. Okay, so that brings us to Gemini 3 Flash. Google officially made this the new default model on December 17th, and it's a massive upgrade. They're calling it PhD level reasoning, which sounds like marketing, but the benchmarks back it up. It's way better at visual tasks, spatial understanding, and agentic coding. What does that mean? It means Gemini can now write code that actually works and it can look at images and understand what's happening in them. They also added something called Nano Banana for precise image editing. But here's what matters for you. Gemini 3 can now be used as a source in Notebook LM. So you can feed it notebooks, ask it questions, and it pulls from all your documents. Plus they added an interactions API, a deep research agent for the API, and text-to-speech enhancements. So developers can build AI agents that research topics, generate reports, and speak the results out loud. Think about this for the AI profit boardroom. You could build an AI agent that researches the latest automation strategies, compiles them into a report, and generates an audio summary for members to listen to, all automated, no manual work. That's the power of these updates. And speaking of automation, if you want to learn how to save time and automate your business with AI tools like Notebook LM and Gemini, you need to check out the AI Profit Boardroom. We break down exactly how to use these tools to generate leads, create content and automate your workflows. No fluff, just step-by-step -step processes that work. Link is in the description. Let's get back to it. All right, now let's talk about GLM 4.7. This just dropped on December 21st and it's blowing up the open source world. Why? Because it's beating ChatGPT on coding benchmarks and it's completely free. Here are the numbers. GLM 4.7 scored 73.8% on SWE Bench. That's the hardest coding benchmark out there. It scored 95.7% on AIM. That's advanced math problems and it's crushing reasoning tasks and agent workflows. For context, GPT 5.2 is amazing but GLM 4.7 is matching it or beating it on specific tasks. And you can use it right now for free. It's available on ZAI API, OpenRouter, and Hugging Face. 
So if you're building AI automations, if you're coding tools for your business, this is your new best friend. Let me give you an example. Say you want to build an AI chatbot for the AI profit boardroom, something that answers member questions, helps them set up automations, guides them through processes. You could use GLM 4.7 to power that chatbot. It's got the reasoning skills, the coding ability, and the cost is way lower than using GPT-5. In fact, it's about one seventh the price of Claude for similar performance. That's insane value. And here's the kicker. JLM 4.7 has something called interleaved, preserved and turn level thinking. That's a fancy way of saying it's more stable on complex tasks. It doesn't lose track. It doesn't hallucinate as much. So if you're building long workflows, multi-step automations, agent systems, this is the model to use and you can deploy it on Hugging Face, run it locally or use it through APIs. This changes everything for anyone building AI tools. Now let's talk about ChatGPT. OpenAI released GPT 5.2 on December 11th, and it's available for paid plans and API users. This is not a small update. This is a big leap. GPT 5.2 is way better at coding, math, science, visual understanding, and long context tasks. Long context means it can read and understand huge documents. We're talking hundreds of pages. So if you've got a 200 page guide, or a massive research report, GPT 5.2 can read the whole thing and give you accurate answers. That's huge for strategic analysis, professional work, research, and they reduce hallucinations so it's more accurate, more reliable. But here's the thing, Google is moving five times faster than OpenAI right now. Articles are calling it a code red situation at OpenAI because Gemini is catching up fast. And honestly, the competition is good for us because it means better tools, lower prices, more features. You can use GPT 5.2 right now if you have ChatGPT Plus or access it through the API. And if you're doing complex automation workflows, this is the model you want for long documents and multi-step reasoning. For example, you could feed it all training materials, all your templates, all your SOPs. Then ask it to create a personalized automation plan for a new member based on their business type. It will read everything, understand the context and give you a detailed plan. That's the power of long context models Okay, let's talk about Titans. Google's been working on something called Titans. It's a long-term memory architecture. What does that mean? It can handle 2 million tokens. That's like reading 10 novels at once. And it has adaptive learning, so it gets better as you use it. They also paired it with something called Lux, which is an agent for desktop control. So imagine an AI that can read massive amounts of information, remember everything, and control your computer to execute tasks. That's where this is going. Now, Titans hasn't had a major public release in the past few weeks, but the buzz is building because of how well Gemini is performing. And the long context race is heating up because the more context an AI can handle, the more powerful it becomes. You could feed it your entire business documentation, every email, every customer interaction, every piece of data, and it would understand all of it, connect the dots and help you make decisions. That's the future we're heading toward. All right, so what does all this mean for you? First, these tools can automate your research and content creation. Use Notebook LM to turn your notes into slide decks, videos, reports. Use Gemini 3 to power AI agents that do research for you. Use GLM 4.7 to build custom tools and automations at a fraction of the cost. Use GPT 5.2 for complex strategic analysis and long document work. Second, this is moving fast. If you're not using AI in your business, you're falling behind because your competitors are using these tools to move faster, create more, automate more. And third, you can start today. Notebook LM is free at notebooklm.google.com. Gemini has a free app you can download. ChatGPT Plus gives you access to GPT 5.2. GLM 4.7 is free on Hugging Face and OpenRouter. There's no excuse. The tools are here. You just have to use them. And if you want the full process on how to use these tools to grow your business, how to automate your workflows, how to generate leads and content with AI, join the AI Profit Boardroom. We give you step-by-step -step SOPs, real-world templates, and a community of business owners who are crushing it with AI automation. No theory, just practical stuff that works. And if you want to start for free, join the AI Success Lab. Links in the comments and description. You'll get all the video notes from there, plus access to our community of 40,000 members who are crushing it with AI. You'll see exactly how we're using these tools, what's working, and how to implement them in your business starting today. Comment below which tool you're most excited about, and I'll see you in the next one.